What is up everyone, my name is Michael Pohl with Bay Area Aquatics and today we're going to be talking about my absolute favorite fish in the hobby at the moment and that is the rainbow shark. So like I said, the rainbow shark is my absolute favorite fish. It's one of the fish that I wanted pretty much from the second I got in. I thought they just looked stunning when they were full grown. Um, not necessarily because they were a shark or anything like that. I just think that the way that the body looks, the way that they swim around the tank, every tank that I saw with one that was a, you know, a decent size, I just absolutely loved it. I really, really wanted one and I didn't get one at the start because I didn't have a tank big enough for it and so I eventually got a tank big enough for it and I do have one in the tank behind me and it's still my favorite fish to look at out of all the fish that I've owned and do own it's my favorite fish now rainbow sharks are pretty easily to spot um, they are a gunmetal gray body with pinkish red fins with a couple of black marks if you get the albino version it's a white body with still the pink and red fins and they do make them in a glowfish color uh, or a couple of different glowfish colors or whatever they are um, I'm not a big glowfish fan but they're the exact same thing they're just different colors and you know things like that they'll behave the exact same way Rainbow sharks will grow to five to six inches in captivity, and they'll live five to eight years, sometimes a little longer, sometimes a little less, depending on the situation. While they're commonly viewed as a community fish, and I, in fact, like I said, I have one in the 75 platy community behind me, which is a pretty, you know, mellow fish, and uh, with quarry cats and everything like that, they are a territorial fish. Now, they're territorial. They'll give your other fish a little bit of a chase here and there, but mine has been pretty relaxed. He doesn't even mess with the quarries, and, you know, the platys get a chase a little bit if he goes back back in the area um, but as far as territorial they're mainly territorial to other sharks so things like bala sharks red tail sharks other rainbow sharks you really only want one of these in a tank now i know at PetSmart, petco fish store whatever they keep a million of them in the little tiny tank there they're not as territorial when they're little and if they are territorial when you cram a ton of them in there like that it kind of spreads out the aggression so you're not having that big of an issue but again you really want one in a tank um, or i've heard rumors of you know people talking about like in a 75 gallon here throwing like 12 or 15 of them in there um, and just kind of letting it be a very aggressive aquarium nothing else in there but I haven't seen that. I've heard other people say that in theory would work, but no one else has ever seen that done. I almost did that just to do it, but uh, decided not to. I decided to go with a community tank. And again, you're gonna wanna stay away from like the bala sharks and things like that. Even though the bala sharks themselves are schooling and can deal with other ones, the rainbow's not, the red tails, you know, things like that will definitely make it a little on the territorial side and uh, one of them is not gonna make it out of there. As far as tank size, um, I've seen some people keep them in 40 breeders. Uh, they're definitely an active fish. Mine loves swimming back and forth across the tank. I personally wouldn't keep it anything less than a 55. Mine's in a 75. That's usually what I recommend to people. But if you're gonna keep a pretty low stock tank, you could definitely make it work in a 40 breeder. That way he's got enough swimming room, but he will be probably a little more territorial even to non shark-like fish with a lot less territory. For water conditions, they like to be kept at about 75 to about 80 two degrees pH is pretty flexible I think my pH is like 72 or something like that um, I've seen people say they keep them as low as like 6.5 and as high as like 8.0 um, so they're pretty flexible fish they're not super uh, super hard to manage they're not the hardiest fish but not a, uh, a very picky fish either now they are an algae eater bottom feeder whatever you want to call them um, they're omnivores so they will eat things like brine shrimp blood worms stuff like that but they will sit there and pick at the algae in your aquarium all day they've got a little like algae type mouth that sits there and just scrapes along plants along the sides of the glass the filter whatever it's a big algae eater that being said as far as feeding it uh, mine eats everything from freshwater flakes to bug bites to uh, bottom feeder pellets wafers uh, blood worms frozen brine shrimp community food rapashi anything like that uh, I haven't had any sort of issue with him just you know taking care of it not a big deal um, he'll swim up and eat the flakes floating around with the other fish I've heard some people that theirs tend to stay down and low mine's pretty comfortable in his aquarium so he kind of goes all over the place as far as sexing your rainbow shark um, you can't really tell the sex from a young age you have to wait till they get a little bigger um, the females will tend to be a thicker bodied uh, fish the males will be bright or colored with some black stripage along their fins that's kind of the best way to tell them apart uh, if you're only getting one it's not that big of a deal unless you're trying to like figure out a name for it but it, you can be kind of one of those people that you know what there's only one i'm gonna name it if you know you get a 
boy or a girl with an opposite name, not a big deal. And yeah, that's pretty much all that you really need to know about my favorite, uh, favorite aquarium fish. Um, like I said, I absolutely love watching them. Um, I will sit at my tank and watch them kind of chase the platies around and swim around and eating all the algae. And they're real big and like swimming in and out of the crevices. This wood here, he hangs around all day and is constantly in and out of it, in and out of the rocks and all sorts of stuff like that. Absolutely love watching this guy and uh, highly recommend it if you're looking for that kind of one-off fish that is definitely gonna be named, it's definitely gonna be like an attention grabber. If you're looking for something that when people come over, they go, oh wow, what's that? Um, it's always one of the first things that people point out in my tank is, wow, you have a shark or something. You know, it looks like a shark, even though it's not. It looks like one, it's cool for people. The colors really pop in a planted aquarium with the red and that dark gray. It's just an all over great fish. Um, I absolutely love it. It's definitely a good centerpiece fish if you want some sort of centerpiece. And I can't recommend them enough to someone that definitely fits the description for needing one. So if you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We try to put out some more species spotlights and all sorts of aquarium videos and things like that. Also hit that bell notification so you get notified every time I upload a video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up if you didn't, you know what to do. If you've got a rainbow shark or you want one, let me know down in the comments below. I always like to see other rainbow sharks. They're fun to watch even on YouTube and things like that, Facebook groups, whatever. And uh, yeah, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.